In this video, we will learn how you can automatically save your bank statements from Gmail to Google Drive. So the idea here is I receive my bank statements every month in my Gmail account and I want that whenever the bank statement is received in my Gmail account, the same statement should be automatically saved to my Google Drive application in the form of PDF so that I don't need to manually save these statements to my Google Drive. To do this automation, I just need to integrate Gmail and Google Drive together with the help of an automation and integration software. So how you can also create this automation just watch this video till end. So this is the website of that automation software, Pabli Connect. You can also reach to this website by typing pabli.com slash connect. Now, if you are a new user, create your free account from here and you will also get free tasks to create this automation in the free account. I am already a user. That is why I'm going to click on the sign in button and click on access now and I will reach to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now from this blue button, you can start creating your automation, your workflow, give any random name to your workflow. I have given the name as save bank statements to Google Drive from Gmail. All right, click on create. And once you will click on create, you will see two boxes in front of you. And our automation is going to work on these two principles only. Let me tell you, this is known as trigger. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. When this happens, do this so basically we need to select the application in which we need to set up the automation according to our use case we want that whenever the bank statement is received in gmail application save the same statement to google drive application so according to our use case gmail should be our first application but here we are not going to select the gmail but in place of gmail we are going to select the email parser now what is email parser with the help of this email parser we are going to build the connection in between gmail and public connect so whenever the bank statement is arrived to my gmail account it will be captured here first in the public connect the instruction for this connection is also given here you need to send or forward the email to the email address above and we will fetch all the details from here so basically we have this email address we need to copy this particular email address go back to our gmail account in which we are actually receiving the bank statements here go to settings click on settings and we are going to paste the same email address here in the filters sorry not in the filters but forwarding and pop imf section okay so basically we are setting up an email forwarder okay you can actually remove the existing one i am removing the same click on add a forwarding address paste the same email address which you have actually received from public connect now it is asking forwarding email to this particular email address yes proceed okay and a confirmation code has been sent to this particular to verify the permission. Okay, so I am going back to Public Connect and I will receive the confirmation code here in the uh, body text. Okay, this is the body text. Just uh, zoom it. Okay, expand it a little bit and you will find your confirmation code here in this particular section. Again, copy it. Go back to your Gmail account. Provide the confirmation code here. Click on verify. Click on this particular section and finally click on save changes and read what is written. You are forwarding your email address, basically your email to this particular email address. So this notice will end in seven days. So we have actually connected our Gmail with Public Connect with the help of this particular email address. To check whether this connection is working properly or not, I'm going to click on this button recapture email parser response okay and see what it is written send an email to the email address mentioned above so that we can capture all the details from the email content automatically so for now i am going to send a dummy bank statement here to this particular email address okay so that i'm going to check whether the new email is getting captured here in public connect or not so assume that you have just received an account statement from your bank account CBA, just a dummy bank, okay, along with a PDF where the statement is actually there, okay. Now I'm expecting the same response here in Public Connect. And yes, you can see the same response has just arrived. Let me cross check, okay. Body text is here. Let me expand it a little bit. 
okay the content here is dear miss dummy user your account details are available at your fingertips you can view them online whenever required for your convenience please find the attached your last latest monthly statement okay going back and cross checking it dear miss dummy user your account details are available at your fingertips you can view them online whenever required and the latest monthly statement okay yes this is the same email address basically this is the same email which i have received to this particular gmail account and the same has been received in pably connect also that means the first step of our integration is working absolutely fine now i am going to add the same statement to the google drive application but before that i am going to use a filter now why this filter so along with this account statement i am receiving lots of other kind of emails also in my gmail account and i don't want that every email should actually save to my google drive that is why i have to specify somewhere that whenever the email receive consist of this account statement that pdf should only save to my google drive other email should not be saved to my google drive okay that is why again click on filter and we are going to specify this condition and on what basis i am going to specify this condition on the basis of the subject line let me show you the subject line okay where is the subject all right all right you can see here is the subject line let me expand it a little bit e account statement for your cbba account okay so i want that whenever the subject line consist of this particular content then only this automation should work okay so i am going to do it with the help of this i don't need to manually do it you can see the above data is actually visible here in the drop down simply search for the subject okay i have selected i have selected it whenever the subject line is equal to which particular content okay let me copy this content and make sure you copy the exact content if even a mistake of dot is there your condition will false and your automation won't work okay now clicking on this button and you will see this time condition will be true why this condition is true because this time the email which we have received actually consist of this particular content only that is why the condition is true now when the condition is true what should be done so basically the statement should be added to the google drive folder okay so i am going to select this application google drive as an action application and an action event i want that whenever the receive whenever the email is received the statement should be uploaded to a specific folder that is why i have selected this particular action event click on action, add new connection connect with google drive choose the account in which you would like to save your attachments i am choosing this particular account all right give allow your permissions authorization is successful that means google drive is actually connected now it is asking for the url enter the public file url to be uploaded maximum file size 50 mb allowed the uh, allowed file formats are mentioned here you can actually check the file format so basically it is asking you the pdf file url where is that url let me show you again the above data and you can see the attachment url okay let me show you okay this is the attachment link 0 let me expand it okay and this is the pdf link you can see dot pdf this is the pdf link which i would like to save to my google drive let me show you well this is just a blank a dummy pdf file okay but you can actually assume that it is your bank statement all right going back to public connect and going to map the same file you don't need to copy the above data read what it is written enter text or map data so we are going to map it okay search for the email response okay basically your pdf file all right let me search for it and you can see attachment link 0 okay i'm going to click on here and you can see my file my pdf file has been mapped now what is mapping the interesting thing about mapping is whatever the values i'm going to map here are going to change automatically assume that a new email is arrived here a new pdf is there okay different pdf different bank statement is there it is going to change automatically it will replace this value automatically okay now it is asking for the folder id enter the folder id here you can get it from the google drive folder let me take you to my google drive 
so this is the folder all bank statements which i have created in my google drive okay and you can actually copy the folder id right from here okay after the slash okay copy the value after the slash come back here and paste it here so here i have actually provided the id of my folder in which i would like to save my attachments finally the file name what should be the name of the file which is going to save here so of course i can give the name as bank statements but i cannot actually give the same name to every bank statement so that is why i need some unique value so what if we map the date the current date let me take the date yes you can see the response have the date also so you can actually map the date give a space now onwards my bank statements which are going to save in my google drive will have the name something like this the date and the bank statements now i am going to click on this button and see what is the response whether this document is getting saved here or not you can see the response is received go back to your google account basically your drive and you can see your bank statement with the same name which we have just provided here is actually received okay actually saved automatically this is how now onwards whenever a new file a new bank statement is received to your gmail account it will be first fetched here into pubd connect and it is going to check whether the statement consist of this particular subject line or not if that email consist of the subject line then that particular attachment will save here in the google drive folder which particular folder well you have already provided the id all right and once you will create this automation in publi connect you can simply close publi connect because everything will work in backend now you don't have to do anything i will also attach the link of my workflow which i have just created in my description box so that you can clone the whole setup of this particular workflow into your account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with publi connect you can ask your queries at forum.publi.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of publi connect and for the latest updates of publi connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formgate.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video